hey y'all welcome back to my channel back at it again with another video it's your girl kayana if you don't know now you know so today is tuesday and um it's after after hours <laughs> seven o'clock at night you know the drill just got off work and um i'm actually about to head to my sister's house so that we can put up her christmas tree we're also having taco tuesday over there so just a little bit of family time so decided to pick up the con decided to pick up the camera so that we can get some of this content in um so as you guys noticed um i am just recording christmas themed things instead of doing the daily vlogs only because it's less pressure on myself i love myself too much to be overwhelmed so um yeah that's what we're gonna do um but right now i am currently sipping on some wine i am drinking sitter home chardonnay um so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just brushing my edges because I don't want to go over there looking too crazy and put on something a little bit warmer because I don't I have on some biker shorts um, right now. But yeah, I just want to let you know what's going on. Um, if you're new here, hello. If you OG, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can see what I got coming up next. Okay, y'all. So this is what I'm wearing. Ooh, my hair looks streaky. Um, this is what I'm wearing, y'all. It's listen. Don't judge me, okay? So this little two piece from Shein, trench coat from Shein as well, and my G Knox. Um, and the reason why I'm dressed like this, okay? So yes, it's cold in Dallas. Okay, it is very very cold. It is like 40 some degrees outside. However, however. I got this to cover my legs and my sister keeps her house so hot y'all like she blasts her heater okay like she blessed it so you know i'm being proactive let me go ahead and make sure i'm covered for outside and covered for my sister's house because i don't have time we're gonna be drinking champagne and everything and so yeah oh then this box right here y'all oh my god this this box been in my house it was blurry i don't like that let's get up hold on Okay, so this box been in my house for like a good month, y'all. It's like my entertainment center for my living room. But I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. And y'all know I'm not a handy person. So, I don't know. What are we going to do? I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to, whoa. I'm going to have to spend the whole weekend to try to, you know, figure something out to get this stuff put together. But anyways, I'm going to finish drinking my little glass of wine. And then we're going to head out the door and go to my sister's house. Hey y'all, I'm back. So finally made it to my sister's house and um, we're about to cook dinner as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but we're doing Taco Tuesday. So we having some, um, you know, American style tacos with the heart shell, you know, the crunchy heart shell. Um, we also gonna have some elotes, some uh, refried beans and some Spanish rice. I had to look over here because, you know, memory gonna be working right. Uh, even though we just talked about this earlier, but for now we're about to drink some champagne and uh get ready to decorate this tree i'm very excited her decorations are cute her tree is white first of all i've never had a white tree i've always had like the traditional you know like dark green tree or whatever but i'm very very excited um she has all red right all red decorations yes i think it's gonna be super super cute so in gonna, honor of mama i know she's not dead but <laughs> It's still in honor of Mama. Don't be speaking that you know my mama name now. Shit. Um. <laughs> okay, I feel you. But now it's cute though. It's really, really cute. Um, okay, so. Oh, I hate opening champagne, y'all. Biscuits and champagne. I cannot stand opening it, I swear to God. It's like, I don't like surprises. It gives me anxiety. <sighs> okay. Uh. Oh. It's just a twist top. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was everything. Oh, God. I hate it so much. Listen, if my kids was not underage, I was like, hey, y'all come over this woman. Like mom and daddy said, hello, the hell was doing? <laughs> and listen, we're going to smoke some hookah. You know, I got to have my hookah. Oh, y'all, let me. Okay, so I kind of did my eyebrows a little bit. And my kids, they are so cruel to me, y'all. So. I forgot what the hell was talking about. And I said, oh my God, that is so disgusting. And my sister saw some, just like her eyebrows. I was like, oh, 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 wait a minute. 
I had to double look in the mirror. I was like, oh my God, are they really ugly? He was like, no, mama, they fine. Like, y'all, when I tell you, I was in the mirror for like a good five minutes looking at these eyebrows like, yo, are they ugly? I mean, I use, I'm using some new products. Um, so, you know, I'm still trying to get used to them and then I didn't use any concealer or anything to clean them up. So, you know, that's that. And then, oh yeah, I forgot to give y'all an update about um, you two are supposed to be meeting y'all. So both of us actually, it was a mutual understanding to uh, reschedule <laughs> because both of us were had went to sleep the day before really, really late. Um, you know, cause I went to sleep at like five, almost five o'clock in the morning. And then from watching her YouTube channel, she always said that she has sleeping, sleeping issues. Um, so, you know, I definitely believed her. I don't feel like she was capping or anything like that. But if she do choose to meet up with me, cool. You know, let's link, whatever, whatever. If she don't, all is well. I see you when I see you. But I do really hope I get to meet her. You know, just somebody that understands, um, you know, what I do and what I'm trying to do and all that good stuff. Because sometimes, yeah, like, yes, my sister, she has a channel. By the way, subscribe. Her link will be down below. Um, but, yeah, you know, my sister, she understands. But, like... I need I want somebody who is further along than I am to teach me you know the ropes and and things like that like of course this is my own journey I'm gonna make my own mistakes and everything like that but if somebody can give me the ropes and show me what to do what not to do and that blah, 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 this and other by all means I'm going to accept that so um you know that's that but like I said she said she's really really cool her name is Peyton Marie Charles <clears throat> and she I think she's a little bit older than I am she has one daughter um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Y'all know I'll be liking the talk, so let's chase this. Let me, let me drink. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, Oh, I thought you had looked over here, like, yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, <didn't say> <laughs> I just thought your face did something like that. But cheers, drinking my champagne. And I had bought this like weeks ago, y'all. I was gonna make brunch. But I wake up too late on Sundays to even think about brunch. By the time, you know, I'm, well, not that I wake up too late. I, I want to eat too late. Like, by the time I wake up, do the chores around the house, none of this and the other. Like, I probably won't have my first meal until, like, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, which is terrible for my body. I already know. But I've been drinking my water. So, you know, it's kind of like the modern day, what is it called, fasting. So, that's that. And... I'm gonna go ahead and help my sister out in this kitchen, y'all. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Well, clearly in the car, in my sister's car, we actually, oh Lord, don't fall. Okay. So we actually had to go to Walmart really quickly because like I said, we're making a Mexican food. And you know, when you're making elotes, you gotta have, you know, the appropriate things like cheese. So cojita is what we need. So we're about to go to Walmart really quickly to go get some cojita and I think that's all we need, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. And some juice, maybe. Yeah, probably something to drink for the kids or whatever, because I typically drink water with my food. So let's update y'all, let y'all know what's going on. And I hope I don't get copyrighted because it feels in the background. But this is my sound though, y'all. Get the wrong bitch, yeah, I know, I know. See your way, baby, you could be real quick. So you're making a mistake. If you think I won't skate on you, so we're up at Walmart or whatever, trying to find the god dog on what you say it's called? Cojita? Yeah. And they don't have none. They don't have none. So we end up getting some taco sauce and then the Mexican mayonnaise. It has lime juice in it. Bomb. And then my sister wants to make this chamoy pickles. You know, y'all see it when we make it. So yeah, that's that. And uh, is that anything? Is there anything else we need? Uh, since we're making the chamoy pickles, I need some uh, some type of candy to wrap around it, or some what's it called? Fruit mm -hmm. roll-ups. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. Um. So you said no Valentina? Oh, yes, Valentina. Uh, we can get some. Is it gonna be good though? Like I don't I've know. I've never had it with Valentina. So I it. Okay, y'all. So, have y'all ever had um, elotes with Valentina? I don't know. My sister said they, the sauce that they use at like restaurants or whatever, or like the corn stands, they use um, homemade. homemade sauce. So, I don't know what to do. Which way we going out oh, to the left? 
Walmart. Yeah, I'm not I'm not familiar with this Walmart. I'm way in Edison. So that's it. That. I don't know if you do you think it's gonna be enough? So we're gonna use this to eat with the chamoy. So I think that's gonna be good. Yeah, it's taking everything out of me not to get no candy. Like Lord knows I love Jolly Ranchers and gummy bears. Ugh. Jeez. You said just get them? Okay. Right, because I don't know why I'm, I'm making myself suffer like this. Makes no sense, Kayana. Makes absolutely no sense. Okay, so next we just got to find the... Oh, what's up? I need these. Candy. Well, that looks spicy, look. Four chili layers, gum center lollipop. Wow. Looks interesting. Yeah. Okay. These do too, they watermelon flavored hard it's, candy. It's just the regular, like the suckers, they just put them like an alcohol. Oh, I thought it was See, because this is, this is what we're basically trying to make. Okay. It's candy covered with chamoy, lime, and um, tahin. You already have tahin? I already have tahin at home. Okay. So, I mean, do we need another kind of candy? Or we good? No, we can do this kind of candy. This candy is gonna go on the inside. That's why I picked it up. Okay. And then the fruit roll-ups are gonna go on the outside. Okay. It looked like chocolate at first. That's why I was... No, it's not chocolate. It's uh, tamarind. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, tell me something new, because child, I don't be, I don't be knowing. So I need to fix the settings on this camera. It looks dark, and my eyebrows look dark when they really not, I don't know. Yeah, I think I want to go get me some eyelash extensions done for the first time. I think they're right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. This probably will be here. Oh, they got mermaid. That looks nasty. What? I mean, I'm, no. It looks pretty, but I bet, like, it looks weird. Look, it makes my stomach hurt. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. We walked past them 13 times. You see them? To your left. Okay. The ones to wrap around. Okay. What's the, oh, that's the, just the long foot? Yeah, that's okay. the foot, by the gotcha. foot. Okay, cool then. All right, so, we got everything that I need. Let me get out the store. Ooh. Yes, I'm still on the clock. Yeah, she's still on the clock, y'all, I wish. <laughs> Bro, hold on. What? Wait. Coffee cereal? Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Have y'all tried this before? What? Oh my God. Dang, we got to bring milk. We I have some uh, cashew milk. Okay. What do we need milk for? The bombs, the hot chocolate. That's not today, that's next week. When I said what I do. <laughs> when I asked you what do I need to bring, you text me milk. Yes, for next week. You said you bring it uh, Excuse me. Uh, I mean, I can still bring that next week. Okay, my bad. Miscommunication. Oh, let me put this up. Cause if I drop this camera, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my God, look at this line. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, this has got to be a joke. This is a complete and freaking joke. Y'all look, this is the line where it starts. Fucking ridiculous. This is why I like Walmart. I swear to God, I don't like Walmart. You know, I'm not going to put you on there if you don't want to be on there. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll, I'll, really I'll respect people's, you know, No, I don't really care. I know people hate you, Yeah. I don't really care. <laughs> okay, cool beans. <laughs> okay, um... This is actually gonna come back here to Okay. Oh, this is the one that they have in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the camera out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get the camera out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get the camera out of the way. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem, my pleasure. You have a great day. You as well. Thank you. I mean, good night. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Oh, yes, because I refuse to stay in that line, y'all. Y'all seen it was crazy, but I guess it moved pretty quickly. Um, my sister said that she is currently scanning her items right now, so I have to head back to the front or whatever. Um, I was looking at some stuff in the men's section, and they actually got some really nice hoodies. I might come back and get a few because they're really, like, really, really soft. But there was a jacket that I was just seeing at $32. Walmart, huh. I need to ask you, have you lost your goddamn mind? 
Because that's ridiculous. $32 for a shanker at Walmart? Like Target, I can definitely understand. But here, you gotta, you got me messed up, okay? Kayana's not doing it. People are looking at me because I'm talking to myself looking crazy. So I will see you guys. Probably want to get back in the car or, oh, and I'm breathing hard because I need to work out. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I'm going to do. That's on my list this week. I have to get a gym membership because my birthday is coming up and I got to go somewhere. But anywho, let me go ahead and stop rambling. So I'll see you guys when we get back in the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These days, I'm like I got everything all things above me. Please, do you reason you love me? Please, listen, nigga, you don't call in my name. Open a place I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. My girl, I can ask you your people. She all up here looking like, what y'all doing? Okay, let me go so I can feed my kids, y'all. Okay, let me get this stuff. Oh my God. I'm always carrying some bags somewhere. Oh, y'all, I can't wait to taste this cereal. Oh my god, I ain't never heard of no coffee. People moving around so much over here. <laughs> Making me nervous. Okay, let me go on this house, y'all. That's why I keep that blicky. Period. <laughs> Honestly, a terrible vlogger. So, when we came back inside from the grocery store, I came straight in here and ate, okay? Because um, I be starving. Um, but the thing is, it's crazy. So, let me sit down. Let me sit down and have a chit chat with y'all. Now. <laughs> But no, like, I will literally eat twice a day. They be so, the meals be so small, it's ridiculous. So before I ate today, I ate a half of a bagel, um, like one piece of bacon, and one egg. And you know, that was it. But I had two tacos, some refried beans, and some elotes. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna eat probably until tomorrow, like around two o'clock in the afternoon. It's just crazy, right? But anyways, oh, let me, let me make a wish, make a wish, bitch. But um, I've just been sitting here looking at TikTok, like y'all, I'm honestly obsessed. And then this dance, have y'all seen this before? <laughs> I've been trying to do this TikTok, y'all. Like, I can't, first of all, I already struggle when I dance. Well, that's what I think. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to do this, and it's so freaking hard. It's harder than I really thought. Like, it's like, dancing in slow motion is a real skill. I don't care what anybody say, but it really is. But I've just been sitting here um, watching TikTok until my kids done eating, and then we're about to go ahead and put up the tree now. My sister is unboxing all of the ornaments and everything over yonder. I'm gonna have to, um, I brought my ring light y'all cause y'all know how I care about my lighting. So, I mean, this is not a ring light, this is a soft box, but I brought it here. Um, so once she finished unboxing all of the decorations, then I will move the light over there so that we can, you know, get to doing what we're doing. But in the meantime, I just want to catch in with y'all, catch up with y'all and um, let you know what's going on or whatnot. So. Oh look, my babies didn't put the Christmas ornaments on their tree. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, back up, back, listen. So, like I said, I'm addicted to TikTok. I think I officially have a problem. Um, I've been over here watching TikTok for the past, since we got back from the store. And let me tell y'all something yesterday, y'all. Yesterday. Woke up at 10.30, like I told y'all earlier. No, in the last vlog, just the whole new vlog, my bad. My days be running together, but anyways. Woke up at 10.30. I was on TikTok until almost two o'clock. I officially have a problem. Um, How do I cure this? <laughs> like, do I just delete the app? But I just wanna make TikToks all day, but the thing is, I gotta find the energy to do it. Hmm, but my sister, she's gonna do it. We're gonna do a TikTok together. Well, I don't look like this. Bruh. <laughs> I wanna do a TikTok. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is actually a, just a day later, I think. I wanna say a few days, but anyway, today is Friday. It is around, it's actually 10.45 on the dot. So um, right now I'm actually about to go out with my sister. I'm about to go have some drinks somewhere 
um but anyways i wanted to come on here and do like a get ready with me vlog style i also wanted to try out some new techniques that um found on tiktok the other day y'all i told y'all i've been so engulfed in tiktok and um yeah i just want to go ahead and you know put some of these makeup hacks to test um just to see if they withhold all the hype so basically, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime. Like I know on the TikTok, uh, the person that I'm actually talking about, um, he did mention not to prime your skin, y'all. But I have experiencing not priming my skin before, and my makeup just looked horrible. So um, I have really, really, really big pores. Um, so I have to use this one is a matte primer just so i don't look greasy or anything throughout the the night i have to put a lot right here because i know i'll get super super greasy like right here in this area right here and then um, after that i'm going to do the poreless and these are all elf products um, for the primer that i'm using so i'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of that right there and this is pretty much the only area y'all and then my lap lines that's pretty much the only area that i need for primer uh, it's also my problem area so i'm thinking i may have to like detox my skin um just to you know get rid of some of that oil and also make these pores a little bit smaller so i'm just gonna go ahead and work this in to my skin and then with the remainder i'm just gonna put it on my forehead Oh, and before I put on um, any primer or anything like that, I did cleanse my skin and everything like that. And I um, moisturized with this right here. This is a truth serum and this is a brightening gel cream. Both of them have vitamin C in them. My sister actually gave it to me. It was a um, sample of clearly a sample from Sephora um, and then she just knows that I'm like really into skincare or whatever. So she decides to, you know, give it to me. She was like, she don't really have any problematic skin. So she just went ahead and gave it to me. So I know this looks a little bit crazy, but um, just bear with me. <laughs> Trust the freaking process. So next they said to um, use setting spray um, before you lay everything down. And then while this is drying a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. So the next step is to mix your regular foundation, which is Too Faced Born This Way. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. And then I'm going to be using the Morphe um, Banana Rich Setting Powder. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my hand and put it on the back of my or or i don't know y'all how should i do this okay so i'm gonna put it just a little bit on the back of my hand just to see and then you're supposed to mix the two together and that's just that i don't want to waste it y'all so hold on and i said it will change the texture of the foundation you know it's going to be like a cake batter so to say oh i probably added i put too much freaking setting powder oh my god y'all this is a huge mess i need one of those mixing tools you know how makeup artists have them on their hands when they're doing their clients but um the texture of it is it's definitely looking a little thick <laughs> i can definitely say that so this is what it looks like i don't know if y'all can really see it but it's really really thick y'all i didn't want to put too much because i'm not sure you know if i'm going to need a lot um, this foundation definitely goes a long way. Um, and then they also said this was, can give you like full coverage foundation. So, you know, with that being said, I definitely don't want to use a lot. And I know, I know, I know I look so crazy, but y'all got to trust the process. I actually need a little bit more because like I said, I didn't put too much just because I was a little bit afraid of what it was going to be like. But I'm just going to add a little bit more and continue to do that mix it up again i hope it doesn't dry oh my god while i'm taking my sweet time okay so i believe i am pretty pretty much covered for the most part 
just want to make sure I have foundation on all of my face. And then I'm just going to use um, this brush here. This is Real Techniques brush, y'all. I always use the same things, honestly. And then just blend it out a little bit. Okay, so I have put on the foundation through and through. Also, just smoothed it out with a little bit of a beauty blender. Just pat it on my face lightly just to even everything out. So what I think so far is yes, absolutely, do it. Setting power mixed with your foundation, do it. I'm already in love and I haven't even finished. So um, next I am going to be doing some highlighting. All right, so the concealer I'll be using today is the same concealer that I always use, LA Pro Girl. And then I am using the shade Almond and I am also gonna be using Sephora. This is a clear and cover um, along with Acne Treatment Cream Concealer. So the hack that they said to do was to, I'm gonna start with the darker shade first. And then that's what I always do, a darker shade of my highlight or whatever. Um, they said to put it along your nose first. I don't know if you guys can see that. So to put it right here first, along your nose to give you like a slight, you know, contour or whatever, instead of making the triangle like you typically see right here. And then to also do it right here to pull up your eye so if you can see that that is what they i don't know what did i put my hand up there for this is what they said to do so they also said to let it rest for about five minutes um so i'm gonna go ahead and add the next shade on there uh, because i am pressed for time and uh, yeah i'm always pressed for time who is it who who am i if i'm not rushing <laughs> like this would not, I would not be carrying on if I wasn't rushing. So the purpose of this hack is to pull your eyes upwards to make it look like you have like a, you know, mini facelift or whatever. And then rather than the triangle effect, putting it down this way or towards this way um, is to like pull down your face to make it look more elongated. So, you know, I think this was perfect for me uh, because I am noticing a lot of creasing in just my face, just looking a little bit different since, you know, I have approached 30. Um, so, you know, you just gotta do use different techniques as your body changes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, let this sit, and then once I come back, I'll blend it out. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the contour. Um, I'm not sure like how, to, how it feels. I'm not sure if it like feels thicker, feels drier. I mean, it feels the same to me, so. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what it's giving okay it's definitely thicker i can definitely feel that for sure i mean i'm not really sure about the coverage yet let me see and then i have another mirror right here just to give me a little extra oh yes coverage is definitely there wow i mean i bit should have been letting my concealer sit um but you know just me i always been in a rush i don't ever do that and then i just got concealer on my contact yo okay so it's definitely wow this concealer it looks crazy but i promise you y'all it's not i promise you it's not and then it's sticking even more because how i did the um foundation like yo this technique is literally legit okay TikTok with the hats yeah i swear i used to be so like i wasn't like crazy angry but i was like you know i don't understand why my kids will always be on freaking TikTok. like y'all what are you doing why are you on TikTok so often like go let your brain breathe then my silly butt gonna sit up here and get a account as well and now I see why like TikTok is really it's first of all it's entertaining so that's that and then it's actually really informative like if you follow the right people um like I've learned so much literally in the past two days 
So, you know, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm here for all of this information that is given. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and um, blend out the rest of my contour with this little brush right here. Um, it looks like it has some makeup on it, so I may have to go ahead and take this off. Okay, I'm gonna try to use this. Let me see if we got some makeup on here first. I'm using a wet wipe. Okay, I don't have no makeup on. It's just, I guess it's just staying from before. So let me dry this bad boy back off, and then let me go ahead and just, because there's like little crevices right here, um, that this beauty blender isn't getting so I'm thinking I may have to purchase a smaller beauty blender Just so You know I can get all my crevices and everything like that, but other than that, I absolutely love this technique. This is This is definitely here to stay. Oh crap. I got some brush hair in my eye Wow like, What the fuck only me only me, shit like this will happen to me when I'm in a rush. Okay, now I'm gonna fix my concealer because I have my nails and got all over it, but nonetheless, we are back in business. But yeah, I absolutely love this technique. This is definitely here to stay. So I feel like this is blended out good enough. And then they said next, instead of using a blend beauty blender to set under here, you're gonna use a brush like this and just lightly tap it on so that it doesn't get clumpy. Because that's something else that I had experienced with my concealer, especially with my eyes taking a new shape. So. They said to do this and just lightly brush it off. Sorry guys, if y'all can't see, my apologies because the lighting isn't that great. Okay. So it's looking like something. It's definitely looking like something. I'm not mad at it at all. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, so, so far so good. I am definitely loving this new technique. Um, let me bring the camera right here, like directly in front of the light so that you can get a better angle. Is it focused? Yeah, okay. So I definitely love this. Uh, I am going to let this powder sit here uh, for a little bit longer. Um, just so you know, it could do what it's supposed to do. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and, sorry about this light, it's being annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. Just put some powder like right here in the areas where I feel like they get a little bit of oily and I don't want that. So, and to also highlight and I'm sweating a little bit, y'all. It's hot in here. I got on a whole sweat too. It's crazy. And I have an air on, so whatever. All right, so, so far so good. I'm actually love, love, loving this, y'all. Like This is crazy how easy it is and how changing a few steps in your makeup routine can change the look of your whole face. So that's really, really good. That's, that's actually fascinating to me. I think that's one of the main reasons I love makeup so much so that you can easily transform. Um, you know, but still keeping your same shape face. Face shape. <laughs> What's, so next I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. So I'm um, using the same bronze that I always use, you guys, and the TikTok hack for this one, he says to use your bronzer on above where you contour. Like, so basically, you do like this and you will contour right here but he said your bronzer is supposed to sit above that and then and it's supposed to like hit the apples of your cheeks like pretty much where the sun is supposed to hit that's where your bronzer is gonna go so i'm just putting it like in my hairline and everything like that to warm up my face and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this side put it at the apples 
of my cheeks, the ball of my chin, and then shape the rest of my face. So that's that. And then I think I want my bronzer. Oh, I stepped completely at the frame. <laughs> I think I want my bronzer like a little bit more, you know, dramatic, so to say. I really do. And then I might go back in with a little bit of contour, just a little bit. I don't want it too heavy. But I can definitely see the difference here from that highlight and then the bronzer. So I'm gonna blend that in just a little bit more so it's not so, what am I trying to say? It's not as, you know, noticeable. So that's that. And then he also said to go across your nose like this. And he also said to use a bigger brush. <laughs> if I fail to mention that, he did say to use like a really, really fluffy brush and I don't have one, I'm gonna have to invest in one. Um, you know, just to make this process a little bit more easier. But so far I do see there is a difference when I look directly like straight ahead. Like my, my face is like more like, like oh my god it's it's crazy y'all how much makeup can really change your face that's amazing to me so i'm actually going to put some of my eyeballs too um right here because i put some concealer on my eyes and i don't just want it to be like you know like super super bright so i am going to do that just to dust it away just a little bit But yeah, that concealer hack is definitely legit. And what I'm using for contour is a MAC Blunt. It's a matte contouring shade. And I'm just gonna go under here and just go like dig it in my skin just a little bit, just to create a little bit of definition. Not too much going on there. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then I am going to use the same techniques when I do contour my nose, um, just because I do like the way that I contour my nose. Um, I love my nose shape, but you know, there's nothing wrong with a little snatch. There is nothing wrong with that, okay? So I am going to use this mirror here um, to get a little bit closer so I can freaking see what I'm doing. Okay, boom. And then, boom. And then I do like to drag my contour down a little bit. And then I said to do like a little dip right there in the bridge of your nose. And then right here. So that's that. And I only do um, powder contouring y'all because I feel like for me, I'm really heavy handed. And um, if I was to do a cream contour, I'm afraid that it would be like too much. Like with powder contour, I could easily, you know, get a brush and like brush it until it fades away. With cream, I feel like it's more permanent and I'm not in a position to make that type of commitment. Like it's too much. And I don't really need to wash my brushes. I've been saying this shit for like the past month. Like it's crazy how I would say I need to do something and then we'll just like never do it. Okay, so next I'm going to take a lighter shade foundation. Um, this is not, well, this is my skin tone, but I only like to hit it on the points where I highlight it. So that's why I said a lighter shade of foundation. Um, I also use this one here. So the shade that I'm using now is 355. And then the shade that I typically use is 360. So I'm just gonna hit it on those points where the highlight and the contour meet just to help blend it out a little bit better because you don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. Grab the camera so that you guys can see. I don't know if you can really see it here, but, and I'm feeling like I should probably do my nose contour a little bit 
a little bit more but other than that i'm absolutely loving this um yes face is definitely snatched for the rules <laughs> for the wolves the snatch for the wolves so um yeah that's pretty much i think that's all that they told me to do um i'm just gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my face just because i am like i mentioned before press for time it's 11 15 right now i kind of want to get out the house by 11 40 so i have about 20 i got i got a couple minutes left i'm not good to math y'all so um i will definitely come back once i'm finished and then i'll show you my outfit i'll be right back okay y'all so i finally finished the final look this is what it came out to i'm not sure if you can really see it like if it's picking up on camera the true let me close this door because the kids got every electronic on and going but anyways this is what it looks like i feel like my cheekbones look a lot higher that's a lot yeah it's fine it's wow it's thick wow um, but yeah, I feel like my cheekbones, they do look a lot higher. Um, I feel like my eyes are a little bit more slanted. Um, and then I did put some highlight right here. But yeah, this this routine is definitely here to stay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready, y'all. And then I'll show you outfit of the day or outfit of the night, I should say. And then um, I got to get out the door because, yeah, like I said, press for time. So bye. <laughs> hey, guys. So real quick, OOTD. This is everything is really from Ross, y'all. While I'm playing, Ross did the doggone thing with this look here. Period. So it's a leather dress, ties up to slint, cinch in that waist, make it look a little bit smaller. And then we have these crocodile print thigh high boots. Or no, these are not thigh high, these are knee high boots. And then yeah, I'm just gonna go grab a purse. I'm gonna wear a crocodile print little clutch or whatever, or bag, it's not a clutch, it's a bag. And then that's pretty much it. I have these earrings I got from, I think Ross as well. And then I'm gonna wear a ring that I got from DD. So super simple, but also very cute. So yeah, that is the OOTOD, uh, OOTD, oh my God. Y'all gotta go, <laughs> bye. Oh, also, I wanna thank you. I'm gonna end this vlog right here because I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow, but I wanna thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Baby girl over there, she peeking and stuff. <laughs> So I wanna thank you so much for watching my vlogs. I do appreciate all of your support. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, and also subscribe if you made it this far. I'll see you later.